87.8 kilos was the weigh-in this morning. That is the start of the bulk. First day with the new coach today on the new programme. Never been coached before, this is the first ever time, so for me to give up the reins to somebody else requires a certain level of trust in both me to execute the plan and also in him to have made a good plan. I know he will have made a good plan for me. Brightman, Joe Brightman is his name, if you have not seen. He's an IFBB pro. I've been following him for a long time. A long time. I know that he knows his shit as well. He's coached by Callum Raystrick from the Muscle Mentors. He's not with the Muscle Mentors anymore. Pro coach, if you've heard of them. He's coached by him. Now, if you're wondering why have I got a coach, because I've had a lot of people ask that question, why have you got a coach if you're a coach? Because there's always someone out there who knows more than you, who you can learn from. I don't know everything. And especially, especially about bodybuilding. I'm very, my knowledge in, in actual bodybuilding itself, in the federations, you know, what the judges are looking for, all that kind of stuff, I don't really know. Whereas Joe, obviously, being an IFBB pro, knows plenty about it. So that is the reason why I've gone with him. Knowledge, experience, and also I just related to him. It was between AJ and Joe. AJ because he is pretty much the number one natural bodybuilding coach, and then Joe, because I relate to him, I know his knowledge is sound, and he also has done well with a lot of natural clients in the past. So it was between them two. Now, the reason I went for Joe was because he was a lot more relatable. I've watched Off The Cuff, and AJ lives, sleeps, breathes bodybuilding. I'll be honest, I don't live, sleep, breathe bodybuilding. I go to festivals, I go on holidays, I do things with my mates. I don't just do bodybuilding, I do other things outside of that. So I would have felt slightly bad not eat, sleeping and breathing bodybuilding like AJ does. Whereas Joe, he is a lot more relatable for me. So when you're picking a coach, it's not just about who knows the most. It's not just about who's got the most transformations, the best transformations. There's other things which come into it as well. I'm gonna run you through the training program which Joe has designed for me. There's a few new exercises in there which I've never tried. Now that's another reason why I hired a coach was because he will know where to put muscle on me, where I need to put muscle on. Whereas looking at myself, obviously I'm gonna have biases. So he's obviously designed a program to improve on my current weaknesses. So the split which he has put me on is lower upper rest, pushing arms, lower two, pulling arms, and then rest. So obviously my arms must be pretty shit because he's put arms on leg days as well. If we just scroll through here, um, this is the first leg session here. And then it finishes with dual rope push downs and a standing D handle cable curl. I actually tried that session for the first time the other day. It's strange doing arms at the end of legs. I've never done that before. Um, but it was good. It was surprisingly good, like the pump I had from it. I didn't think I'd be able to get a pump in my arms, but especially with it only being two sets, but I did. So I think that's going to help obviously increase my overall arm volume, which will help bring my arms up. And then we've got the upper session, which is pretty much just um, a couple of back exercises, a couple of chest exercises, and then some shoulders in there. And then we've got push slash arms, which is the session I'm doing today. Now, the reason I'm doing this today on Monday is because I'm going to be training with Luke Witt Whitney on Wednesday. Pull with him, so and also I'm climbing Snowden on Friday, so I'm only actually going to be able to get three sessions in this week, possibly four. Um, so I'm doing this today and then next week I will do it in the order which is put on here. So starting with a chest fly, it says chest fly slash pet deck but I tried the pet deck the other day for the first time in a while and it hurts my shoulder so I'm just going to go with cuffed flies. Then on to the Gymshop chest press, the flat one which is very good by the way, very good, feels insane. You will have seen that in my last push video that I've just uploaded so if you haven't watched that. I'll put a little card up here so you can go and watch that. Then onto the reverse banded incline smith machine press. Like I said, I've never done a reverse banded press before, so it's going to be interesting. I've got to learn how to set that up first as well. And then we'll perform that with the red band. Reason being, it's with the red band, not the green band. You will have seen Joe and Josh probably doing it with the green band because they're using a lot more weight, so they need more help out of that hole, which is what it does. It basically evens out that resistance profile because at the bottom here, you're the weakest, so that band is just gonna help you out of that hole. And at the top, as you get stronger, because that's that's the strength profile of any pressing movements, is you are weakest down here, and then you get stronger as you press away from you, just because of internal leverages and stuff with the body and how it works. It's the opposite for pulling exercises, but that's how it is with pushing exercises. 
um, and then that band's obviously going to drop off and the full weight of the stack you're then going to be pushing. Then onto his standing unilateral cable lateral raise, then onto dumbbell side lateral raises. Personally, I would have swapped them round. I would have done a dumbbell lateral raise first because that's going to hit the side dart and it's short in position and then done the cable lateral raise after because I'm guessing he wants me to overload that in the length and position. Then onto a banded Smith JM press, also never done that before. For triceps, I don't usually, I've never implemented a, like a compound tricep exercise, so like a dip or something like that, especially not recently with my shoulder, so I'm guessing that's why I've put a JM press in there rather than a dip variation because it's going to be a lot easier on my shoulder and then onto a preacher curl to finish so that is the session i will obviously record it and um, show you bits of it we'll see how i get on with reverse banded that incline smith and whether i get it right i doubt i'll get it right first time it's probably going to take a few attempts but yes that's the session and i'll see you in there Session done. I think having a new gym, new environment, new machines, new exercises, I would say new coach, but I've never had a coach before, so having a coach for the first time, all these new things have really benefited me in terms of like motivation, like I'm more motivated than I fucking ever have been before and having that goal in sight of, okay, in one year's time, I'm gonna be prepping for a show, so I need to put as much muscle as possible in the next year as I physically can, like as much size as I physically can, because I want to be competitive. I'm not just turning up to, oh, I just want to, you know, take part. We're not coming to take part, mate. We're coming to fucking win. And that's exactly what I'll do. The next year, I'm going to fucking nail everything to make sure that on that stage, I'm competitive. Now, I'm not going to say, oh, I'm going to win the show, but I'm going to be competitive. I can fucking tell you that. And I'm going to make sure of it. So, this new motivation that I found is very good. It's driving me in the gym. The sessions are the, some of the best sessions I've ever had in my life. I'm very looking forward to next year. And hopefully, you boys are too, because you're going to you're gonna come along with me. So, if you did like the video, boys, drop a like. Click the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.